Your Excellency, Sad Brigadier Retired Julius Mahadabia, Honorable Vice President Dr. Julia Jalo, and our dear First Lady, Ada Fatima Bia. My dear Craig Dean, Honorable Ministers, our Paramount Chiefs and the Section Chiefs. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to this city of Lonsa. And we today is a special day for which we must thank President Julius Madadio. I know many people will call this a historic day. In fact, others would say a momentous occasion. This day is neither of those. This is a watershed moment in history. This moment alters the course of history in Marampa. It changes the way of doing things in this kingdom. It replaces the I, me philosophy with the we, us psychology. A psychology in which all of us win together, we rise together, we are uplifted together, leaving no one in the desert of want. We thank you, Mr. President. I have to confess, Mr. President, that it has been 90 years since the beginning of mining in this chifra. Four scores plus 10 years. In 1933, the first machine dug into the bowels of Masabony Hills and spooked the first wagon of iron ore. But since that time, this chiefdom has never received a cent from any mining company that goes to the development of the chiefdom. Never. This is the very first time, ladies and gentlemen, we in Marampa are witnessing this. Forgive me if I go very emotional. I have to be emotional. Mr. President, my grandparents waited for this moment. They never got to see it. They died waiting. My parents waited for this moment. They never got to see it. They too died waiting. You brought us this moment. I thank you. I have to thank Craig D, a man of enormous patience and hope, partner with our dear president, to bring this day our annual bread. And so, Mr. President, I can't go beyond this because already I feel like crying. For 90 years, MML, the first company, the first company to give money that the community sees, talks about, knows about, is going to feel, is going to profit from. First time. I can't say anything, I can't do anything less than say, on behalf of this chief guy, Mr. President, Dean, we express our sincere gratitude and we thank you very much. May God richly reward you both.
And now call on Joseph Munda Sandi to introduce our electrifying chairman. Mr. Munda. Thank you very much, sir. His Excellency, the guitar brigadier Julius Murder be here. The Honorable Vice President, Dr. Mohammed Julda Jalo. My sister, mom, the vice, the, sorry, the first lady of the Great Republic of Sierra Leone, Madam Fatima Jabibir, Honorable Ministers here present, our Reverend Paramount Chief, let me please stand on existing protocol as set by Professor Kamara. I am Joseph Munda Sandy, I am the government representative representing the people of Sierra Leone on the board of Marampa Mines. Just to remind you, Marampa Mines is a joint venture between GRL Group and um, Government of Sierra Leone. GRL Group own 90% and Government of Sierra Leone own 10%. At the moment, it's the only joint venture we have in the mining sector. His Excellency, I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity to represent my country and to push the commercial interest of this company. I don't want to bore you, we've been here for a while, but it always gives me great pleasure to introduce somebody I admire so much. Somebody who's been on fire for the last couple of months last couple of years, and um, he's the Honorable Minister representing Northwest, but he's also a son of the soil. He used to work at Madampa. He also waits for over 60 years for this day to come, but he plays his own role as a former Minister of Mines, but it has to take His Excellency, the President, Gita Abigide Julius Mada, be here to ensure that the people of Marampa enjoy the benefit of the resources that they've been endowed with for almost 100 years now. Let me take this opportunity, His Excellency, to introduce our chairman for this occasion, who is no other person but the Dr. Alpha Sadiq Khan. Thank you very much, Mr. Joseph Munda Sandi. I think that I don't sabi him about two years. But it looks like say you don't sabi me for a lot more and more years. Thank you very much because some of the things you talk about, now only close people there, like a Bonduri, close people there, like an Alpha Uri, where we start together, the chief and my son, the other chief. Plus, Boku people in Alonsara go know. So, thank you very much, Mr. Sandy. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Sierra Leone, retired Brigadier Julius Mada Bio, the Vice President of the Republic of Sierra Leone, the Honorable Dr. Mohammed Jul De Jalo. The Minister of Tertiary and Higher Education, Honorable Alpha Wuri, our revered First Lady. Now I get for the introduce the First Lady last because I have so much to talk about her. Especially when it comes to empowering the vulnerable people in this country, the young people. The women, the girls, like those school children standing there. When I clap for the first lady, Mama Ria, you get for the piano. I will get for the introduce you last because there's so much to talk about you. I can write a compendium on the things that you've been doing, Madam the Minister, acting Minister, and in fact actual Minister at the moment because anybody who did it, not who did it, the actual acting Minister of the Mines, Minister of Mineral Resources. You have now become my colleague. Before, you were the wife of my friend. But now, on some children that you know, at the day, Madam Anne-Marie Prince Alex Harry. 
when I clap for the Minister of Mines, that woman, but it's dynamic. This woman, by it take Land Rover, it go into the fields of Masumbiri, it go watch the one there, where they poach and they, they do illegal mining, and they go, she does that. They chase them. Thank you very much. It help me for patrol the country. I'll come to MML later. But I see my overseers there, the members of parliament, especially the leader of government business. And don't tell me that he is a former leader of government business. Because even today, in our government business, we do so. So if we don't have people supervising government, who is going to do accountability? The Constitution provides for transition period. Not holiday on a day. They give a holiday, make a go off for three months. But during that time, His Excellency get the mandate and the right to recall you anytime for attend to government business and when I go back. So please, when I not throw them by the too, because you are still on call, the members of parliament bar. And I see Honorable Dr. Umar Bondwuri. But where are they talk today? He came for Kansan at Miami. Bondwuri come. Yeah, just for this introductory speech. Come. I see me former, the former minister of the Northwest region, my sister Haja Aisata Abdullah Kamara. I see also the chairman of the Presidential Infrastructure is, is initiative, initiative, Dr. John Tambi. As it, na solution in your issue. Uh, I'll, I'll sign, I do. Good. I see Ramatulai, I see people. But but Unakusha all down there. But we paramount chief the there. The paramount chief of Marampa. No, it's a Lambu, I just didn't recognize it. Paramount chief of Marampa. And the paramount chief newly crowned. Now, now we crowned her yesterday. Newly crowned Paramount Chief of Mafoki. <laughs> Paramount Chief by Foki Finger, the second. Whose family has not had a crown for 112 years? 112 years. So you are the hero. You brought it back to the home. Mr. Craig Dean, CEO of Marampa. Mines Limited, <coughs> also CEO and Chairman of, uh, what's the name of Gerard Group International. I see Mr. Anderson of Mines Limited. Yeah. Is that from the Embassy? Yeah, yeah from the Embassy. Yes. I see Madame Charge d'Affaires of the British, uh, sorry, of the American <laughs> Embassy, <laughs> the US Embassy. Her Excellency, Afmaminu, the Tarate Tela de Moy, Ospika, Tarate Tela de Moy, I call this man because at some point, Naina be the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Mineral Resources, where Mina be minister. Me and this man, Your Excellency, now we draft the Mines and Minerals Act of 2009. Now we put in that act that every company where they work in Sierra Leone for left 1% of their annual revenue in the community where they work. Not so bad. What would I put down there? What you happen? They don't transfer you. But they transfer. Me now they sack me. The next time we are Sabi now, that one percent, they don't divide that by one hundred. It don't become zero point zero one percent. 
and 0 0.01 percent if person get for you hundred thousand ten percent now ten thousand one percent now one thousand zero point zero one percent now hundred dollar nine in the queue yes that's what they reduce them I am not even sure I don't know if I ask Marampa but Ferenc Bayard and Intel we say even that 0 0.01%, they don't want the receiver. Would I receive that 0 0.01%? No, no. When I first for a moment, this was I. Because I'm not a minister, so I didn't know. So this part, it worked very hard. We got that act fitted. We got that act in there. We put, say, a company starting. If we give 10% of its uh, I don't know, shares, free carry to government. And within five years, that 10% for all rise to 30%. What's so far? What did they do? <laughs> they pulled me. They said I know. They said I development. Me, who said I can be political like that? Political. They said, why are they talk too much? <laughs> but this is what it shows when you have patriots working for you. Now, we don't get a transformative president. We're lacking people. We're what like people that go before. We are not from one. Come at a funeral to apply. Yes. A lot of people go to and say, hey, Kasuta, hey, we're Rochebra Road, hey, we're Robot Road. Can I have a road in there? Oh, we're not on the road. Oh, we're not on the road. Oh, we're not on the road. So, Takura Pa, Takura, and I make God say, Pa, Suratun, Rahman. He say, Hal Jaja Linsan, Ira Linsan. When person do you good, pay and good. Pa, and God say so. This is not Alpha Khan. Hal Jaja Linsan, Ira Linsan, Fabi Ayalai, Rabbi Kuma, Tukajiba. That's my God. Burun maksuratun fil hiyabim Fabiya iya lai Rabekuma tukajibadim What you know when God you walk? What you take care? What you know when God you walk? What you not believe? What you know when God you walk? What you know God do for you? What you not able? What you make when I take care say God will give you president? Where you get sense? Where they show you what you for do? Where they go for fight for win? He knows the way. He goes the way, and he shows the way. What you make? I not believe. Al Jaza al Yasanu, il al Yasanu, Fabi Ayelai, Fabi Kuma, Tukajiba. Thank you. That's his code. That is Allah speaking to us. Then he tell him again, say, Na suratul hadith. Suratul hadith. In fact, that is the surah of the iron. Iron ore. God talk about her. Suratul hadith, iron. Talk about Marampa. He talk about general group working in Marampa, in the iron ore mines, in suratul hadith. In verse 10, he says, they are better, those who came to fight for you when you are struggling, than those who came after you not win the war. That's what God say. And great thing don't come for can help President Bio for fight for now. For now, get what you do now. for 90 years. To rent the bad talent to fight, capo best no since 1933. Today, 2023, 90 years. A friend. President But you know what to do? Not all man to be leader. You know what Aristotle say? He said those who are wise. If they refuse to lead their people, they say you will only have fools to lead you. Today, God don't be a wise man. 
full of wisdom, full of sagacity. And what I see about President Julius Madabu, he is always looking at how can I improve the lives of my people. So may you have mommy come up with this now. Ankalaye, more son to no no, ankre green yam and so in. Agbili kera in no camp. I saw your minister. Let it let it us. I did a young Melazarati. Would I be sorry that day? No, President Bill says no. That money is for my people. It is not for the acting minister and Marie Prince Harry. It is not even for the minister of tertiary and higher education. We are next to him. It is not for the vice president. Neither for the first lady. Or for him, President Bill. He said that the people get up. And I'm going there. Me, Julius, Mada, Bill. But like you. Peter, Peter, Peter the Rock. He said, I care about money, they go to me people. Today, me, Alpha Kanu, no, 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 but this night God tell me, even by the same, the same Surah to Rahman, God tell me, say, the one they were in, go down, save and send them to heaven, paradise. He said, when they go, he said, would I go receive them? He said, now beautiful beings, men and women, young people, Dressed in green velvet, they go take you, they carry you go, they go put you by the hamaka, which is made of green velvet. You get a spring water where they flow with a green janjabil. Where you want for drink, you book a time, we are soon. That is the color green. Nine God described for me. So today, me, I don't look for 60 years. So 60 years, 1962. Go check. Professor. Professor Dongo. Okay. Professor. Not to me and you be the foreign grab that is feel now. Not to 60 years this. Now so now 1962. When they say today election. Now we let you know who is more picking than the me old 10. I think it was about seven years. You know? Would they can't dance now? A, B, C. Sabah Mukramo. Skaram Mukakuma. Get a 60 years to know. A 60 years. A Kalayem did to know can't offer you. A lion is there. A yet, eh, must not take a nostril. This. President don't go tell we say. In government don't approve. For there we get a government university in the Northwest region. Port Loco University, where they don't call the University of Ahmad Tijan Kaba. Ahmad Tijan Kaba University of Education and Technology. Because we hear the minds. We get for learn how for work day. But I work now these minds. As a young engineer, in 1975, I work now. When I go, I left, I've been not write me this is let's say for can't finish an hour. So I left him. That they corner them for send me this is go back to the university. Not to me for care and go. When I go, I don't know, I don't reach nothing I made. <laughs> and I say they'll not close. So now I have to ask Craig. My dissertation is still in your compound. Because I'm not being sent up. My dissertation in mining, I studied mining and I came here to do my uh, professional internship. I for write my report. But the mines did not send it. By the time I got to England, the mine had closed. So I still need mine. Make they send an anointing. Let them upgrade me. Because they did not give me a first class as I was due. Because I didn't submit that. They give me the second best. And I think it's the fault of Delco. Then for wait till they don't send me paper. Before they close, they like, great. Are they come for me? This is will they go look for it. But anyway, in all seriousness, his Excellency President Julius Madabi, who can't today, for can't show we say, one, you don't grieve for lack of companies they give you now, one percent. 
You know what that one person they mean? I don't know how much they export this year. They could tell me. But if next year they export 10 million tons, 10 million, and they sell them for $100 a ton, that in a $1 billion. That $1 billion day, 1%, not $10 million. Thank you for Canada, Madam Pa, and my fucking next year. But I know they are aiming to do seven and a half million tons. Not to say seven point five, seven point two, seven point and a half million tons. So it's not gonna be ten million, but it will be like seven and a half million dollars. In silo, sir, one must sort of seven and a half million dollars. Eh? So to so to money, so we we'll go poor again. Suppose we have that for ten years. That's seventy-five million dollars. The one way president go left in May. Now, last year, now be only 525 billion leons. They don't spend them. The people they don't spend it, each person build guest house, town hall, they build stadium, now the village, and all that. I can have a channel 1.6 billion. They don't know what to do. They can't tell presidency, but the money still there. But last week, or two weeks ago, we go to Makuruka, now you go give them back another 20.3 billion. And I say, hey, this is why if I send people to Fokai, we manage this money. <laughs> so now in Lonsar, I don't know what we will get in Marampa. I don't know what we will get in Mafoki. But what is important, and I just noticed my colleague and friend, the Honorable J.O.B., John Benjamin, just come. John, I think I play that like a people that see you. <laughs> John Benjamin, you know it. You know it. Why am I not sure what I did for people who are not good? When they be locked with people, they're up during NPRC. But I don't tell them this story. When they lock you up now, NPRC, for money, they charge their almost 20, 20 million leons at the time for letting them come out. They don't get money. I've not been no John Benjamin. But I go to Paris. I say, I want to go talk to the chief minister for letting left with people. There. Now he give me, now he call John Benjamin. Now John Benjamin say, come. I went straight to the state house. I explained to him, I said, let people are not get 20 million, and they are old. I said, hey, Lengoda, I said, Pala, they pay 5, 5 billion for us. That is true. I said, he said, go write the letter. I went and wrote the letter for all the APC ministers. I go get John Benjamin. He left me in my office. He go up to Captain Strasser. He come back, approve. Now he Alpha, and I go write the check. I tell him, Papa, they not get money. But maybe he gets. So I'll be paid for three people. I don't call the name, but my own papa they inside. The other two, I don't call the name. I paid for three, 15 minutes. That same afternoon, they released them. But uh, we'll not be paid the balance again. No. But it's not far away. <laughs> but thank you very much. This is the kind of magnanimity where the people get. We're not Sabi person. They see him from far. Ah, yeah, let's go and talk to him. Let's Sabi him. So if I reach her, I go close by saying that here, in Marampa, the two grandpa, then we don't join the chiefdoms of uh, Marampa and uh, Kayamba chiefdom in Moyamba. They married the Pikinem, Paramount chief Momo Gulama. He take a Pikin, he give to we own Paramount chief now by Koblo Patba. They born Pikinem, three or four. Dr. Soko Kabia on a dairy, say the PMC, PMDC, the ANDC. Ah, now you come down there. Now they're born up. Obey Kabia, I think, say, even for there, we traveled yesterday. Now they're all born. They get right for B chief, Namoyamba. They get right for B chief, Namarampa. The country no not join. Me, if I go Moyamba, I mean a stranger. I just say, I mean a Soko brother. I bet on him. I find me a Soko. Not so. So if I reach the Excellency, I don't get the book. I don't have a book. If I reach there, let me move forward. But we know say today, Munafa don't come. Namarampa and Mofoki. So if I reach there, I need for call Mr. Craig Dean, the chairman and CEO of Marampa Mines, and chairman and CEO of Gerard Group, Gerard Group International.
we get 90% of this time, as you, at 10% we get. Do you, I can't talk to me, Mr. Greg D. Please. And besides, I forgot to mention something. This is not a way to come for go. You not come for go. You don't identify yourself with me. You don't know waiting. You don't naturalize as a Sierra Leonean. Like a Sierra Leone passport from over there. So you know one go. He's here and he's with us. We are with your people. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Honorable Alpha Khan. I really appreciate those words. Mr. President, Mr. Vice President, First Lady, my paramount chiefs, who I couldn't be here without them, and our ministers, and our representatives from the U.S. government, as well as the NMA. Thank you so much. That was quite an introduction. It is really my honor to be here in front of you. I could not be here if it wasn't for His Excellency, make that clear, without the cooperation of this government, we don't achieve anything. I could not be here without you, without the community. It is impossible for us to function here without strong, strong support. It's really my honor that I get to make history, Gerald Group gets to make history, Marampa Mines gets to make history because it's amazing that for 90 years that I understood, not one penny has gone back into the community at all. If people recall, one year ago, we talked about making an expansion. One year later, we've done much more than what we even talked about. This mine started production at well under 2 million tons we brought it to 2 million tons. During this year, we achieved 3 million tons of production, which allowed us to export the 2 million tons, basically 2.2 million tons in one year. It is the first year ever that there's been one full year of production. It's a shame that this mine hasn't been able to be in existence for all of those years. But when we talk about history, I'm proud because not only are we making history to write a nice check to the community so that the people of the community with the government will benefit the projects that are necessary in these chiefdoms. But also, in all of Sierra Leone, this payment that will happen will be the largest payment in history, by far. We committed our 1% before the law was changed by His Excellency and the parliamentarians, and we are delivering on it. It will be 1.74 million US dollars. It's a huge amount of money. More than 38 billion Leones will go. And the sooner we can deploy those funds, the better. Like Honorable Afrikan said, we shipped more than 2 million tons. Marampa has the ability to do much more, much, much, much more. And we want to do it in a professional way. We want to do it in a sustainable way. We do not want this mine to shut down ever again. But again, I could not do this if I don't have full support of everyone and most importantly, and I know Joseph Munda Sandy said, government's a 10% shareholder in this. It's extremely important because for us, as much as we will do good to the community and we will participate in making sure that projects go on and on and on, we need to make money here and we have to do it in a sustainable way so that every penny we earn, some amount, goes back to the people. It's extremely important for us. That 38 billion will go to make transformation. As the CEO and chairman of the Gerald Group, this is our flagship project. For me, 
I have the possibility to be elsewhere. We have projects in Congo Brazzaville. We've had projects in Eastern Europe. But I can tell you that my commitment here is to make change, significant change for every man, woman, and child. I can make a change here that I couldn't do elsewhere. That is why I spend so much time here. Without massive amounts of money, we can do good things. However, I do require the full support of everyone, including the government, who honestly have backed us very, very strongly. I can tell you that we put our MLA in place. Everything happened in record pace. All of our fiscal incentives happened very quickly. It allows us to function efficiently. So really, thank you, Mr. President, for that. He gave me his reassurance, and he delivers on that. And I very, very much appreciate, appreciate that through the Ministry of Mines, of course, with the NMA who supports us. What I would like to be able to do is to make history every year if I can. It won't be easy, but if we are able to expand, we can do it. With only 2 million tons, we achieve almost 40 billion Leones. For those that do not know how much iron ore is in the ground here, there is more than 1.7 billion tons of reserves here. Massive. What that translates into, there is the potential to hit 5 million tons a year of high grade iron ore, which is what we achieve. There is potential to hit 7.5 million tons here. There is potential to hit 10 million tons here. There is potential to hit 15 or 20 million tons a year coming out of Marampa. But that means significant investment. In order to do that, it will take hundreds of millions of dollar, dollars, thousands and thousands of people helping, and again, full cooperation so that we can expand. I think as people realize power, logistics, and infrastructure are a challenge, and we're hopeful to make a difference. We want to do things in a renewable energy way. We want to get to a lower cost solution so that we can provide power elsewhere than just the mine site. For those that don't know, we will be going to almost 24 megawatts of power that we're consuming on site in Marampa. It's massive. It's a big amount of power. So having Marampa, having the Gerald Group here with you will allow growth, will allow that the benefit that we do goes back into the community. For us, it is extremely important. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Sierra Leone, Retired Brigadier Dr. Julius Madabio, Your Majesty, the First Lady of the Republic of Sierra Leone, the Honorable Vice President of the Republic of Sierra Leone, the Minister of Mines and other Ministers of Government present here, the parliamentarians, state functions, colleague parliament chiefs and traditional religious leaders, my esteemed people of uh, Marampa Chiefdom, the CEO, management and staff of Marampa Mines, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good morning to this August gathering. Your Excellency, sir, I bring you all fraternal greetings and good tidings from my family, my chiefdom, and the primary host communities of Marampa 
and Mapoki chief domain Boloko district. It is good to read history, they say, but it's better to make history. Your Excellency, sir, you have set the wheels in motion for the people of Lusha, Malampa Chiefdom, Mapoki, and Poloko District to make history. Let's clap for his and the president. This day will go down in the annals of history as memorabilia in addition to the fact a sitting president is here visiting Lushal, Poloko District since yesterday. In the person of President Julius Madabio, what we are about to witness this day, if the area of community development funds has already implemented a lot of my impact, has never happened in the history of this chiefdom and the primaries community. Ever since from 1933, we had that from the chairman, never ever a cent ever be paid to the primary host community because of the devastation and destruction of our land. Now we clap for his ex and the president. It is monumental, our ears could not behold this. Since the establishment of Delco in 1933, Marampa Mining Company, this is the first time a sitting president that has the love and empathy allocation to the primary host communities of Marampa and Mafoki Chibdom, they're hoping some of $1.7 million and he's still making it Let's clap for the president and the government of Sierra Leone and the mining company, our friend, Craig Dean, and also named in Lushal and Marampa, Mafoki Chibdom. Let's clap for this powerful gentleman because of the history making event. Your Excellency, all and sundry present here, please join me on behalf of uh, Marampa and Mafoki, the primary community, for allowing us to experience and benefit from such a laudable magnanimous of goodwill and love for the people of uh, the primary host communities of Marampa and Mapoki. We will never forget you, sir, this and we will reciprocate in very soon to the happiness of us all. May the spirit of our ancestors grant you the desire of your heart and all the family and also the First Lady. Your Excellency, may June 24 be a, joy, a day of joy as we return you to the seat of presidency and for another successful term of office. For continuation of the propagation of democracy, a father of democracy which you are, for sustainable development of Mama Sierra Leone and the primary community. And making Sierra Leone great ones again, and also making Sierra Leone a, a, better, a better place for all of us. Because of this many international accolade, you are back home in lifting the profile of Sierra Leone and beyond. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, the government of Sierra Leone. Your Excellency, sir, all and sundry present here, permit me to go down in memory lane, deep into my proverbial basket to say this. The moon moves slowly, but by day, break it crosses the sky. For Sierra Leone and government, sir, I must say to you, begin as you wish to continue, continue as you wish to end. For whoever that does not want to continue must not begin. But if you begin, you must continue to the end. Your Excellency, you are our talk and do president. This day is a testament to the fact that you promise in the community development fund and the local content policy and you have delivered today. May we not forget you in the haste but like I said earlier, June 24 will be a payback time. Our good friend, and also an household name in this community, and also beyond Marampa and Mafoki, our good friend and, and management, our good friend, the CEO, Craig Dean, that worked tremendously in this chiefdom and also engaging 
et puis c'est quoi la transition madame pas et ma poké qui belong and management of the mines i must commend you because the, the redesign the local content policy and community development only experience doing the promotion of our local economy and showing that the primary host community enjoy the benefit of the mining and our destruction and uh, also the the, the benefit uh, we benefit from the mining of these policies. But the community development has helped us in creation of jobs, support to local business, improving living standards of our community people, while promoting sustainable and responsible mining practice. Honorable Malampa Chiro and Mafoki Chidom, also we want to thank you because of this tremendous achievement and continue the good work. Your Excellency permits me to highlight some of your most striking and monumental achievements on your scorecard, which has positively impact our community. The free, the free quality education, the school feeding programs, the scholarship award, best scholarship was 2022 and 2023 for our noble school, Muraldo. Since the history of uh, Malampa Chibam, only President Bio is the only president that visited one of our schools. Now we clap for our president. From where Malampa start, only is excellent the president will not promote the free quality education and ensure when we have the best result, he go to Murado school, he entered it without notice. And even a war scholarship to Sanko, we are the best students in Sierra Leone. Now we clap for his and the president. We want to say thank you, sir, for, the, for because of that benefit. And also, the construction of Magbele, PC Adical Model, Tourism Bridge, where ever since now the history of this country, we don't get many, many people where they lost their life. Magbele Bridge, that be death trap. Both the people away and their home and abroad. Many, many people have not lost their life. Under the wise leadership, the visionary leadership, is excellent the president don't fix for me the bridge for when now the next hundred years, all of us will benefit and we grant picking their way will benefit. Now we clap for the president. He has done plenty, plenty thing for the people of Marampachido. And today, we don't get this package where they can receive, where it will, the length and breadth of my fucking and Marampachido it will spill over most of them projected. And today, we did declare me, we don't see where at least they don't name one of the African best shining star, the shining star of African leaders. All over Africa, they are the best African leader, where at least um, uh, though we don't get the best minister of education globally, now we clap for the president because of their tremendous achievement here. It's a thing on the lips of the people, not only here at Marampa and Mapoki, but obviously the whole county and Sierra Leone. On my own personal behalf, on behalf of the people of Marampa Chibam, sir, let me join others, well meaning Sierra Leoneans, to thank you for your love and selfless for the country development and also Marampa and Mapoki Chibam. And all the land you have gone to get Mama Sierra Leone to be among the League of Respectable Counties in the world. Thank you, Your Excellency, thank you for a job well done. And a sacrosanct reason why you and your gallant team be returned back to the presidency and governance of this county coming June 24. Your Excellency, sir, ministers of government, colleagues, parliament chiefs, and traditional religious leaders, management and staff of my Mines and all Sunday present here, we have made history today and join me again to thank Your Excellency Talk and Do, President Bio, and may God continue to guide in all your endeavors in your business of rewriting the history of this country and putting us in a trajectory of sustainable development goal. Your Excellency, you don't do for we lost Namarampa Chidom and Poloko District. On behalf of the people of Marampa Chidom, we want to say thank you because of this tremendous achievement. 
And a couple of months ago, the first lady came here with pad. For make a sanitary pad and we distribute them to all the schools of uh, the schools that wait and they Marampachi. Your Excellency, Your Majesty, we want to say thank you because of your hard work and commitment to ensure say Sierra Leone will be a better place for all of us. Your Excellency, because of all the good job we you don't do for me, we want to say many, many thanks. Your government and the people of Marampa Chidom don't co co commit themselves today by God in power. We want to ensure say coming June 24, you will return back to the State House and you will be the President of the Republic of Sierra Leone. Because of the good job of my colleague and this great man, when I created him, permit me, Your Excellency, as you now one of my colleagues, when a power man team of Sobili and also the King of Kings of Sierra Leone, but now we have to acknowledge Craig Dean as the section chief of Masaboni and Kafar. <laughs> the section chief of Masaboni and Kafar, let the president here will at least acknowledge and confirm this appointment today. We have to crown Craig Dean as one of the chiefs of Masaboni and Kafar. Your Excellency, sir. Thank you very much. God bless his section, the president. God bless the first family, your majesty, the first lady. God bless the CEO and management of uh, Marampa, Marampa Mines. God bless all of us and God bless Mama Sierra Leone. We get gifts now yeah, for... Your Excellency, First Lady, this is the gift. On behalf of the Paraman Chief and the people of Marampa Chidom, we present this wonderful gift to you. It's a sign of love and empathy and commitment to ensure that um, coming June 24, Your Excellency will be the President of the Republic of Sierra Leone. Thank you, sir. God bless you. To, to my section chief, section chief Craig Dean of Masabon and Kafal, because of your support and dedication to ensure that um, uh, you had our GDP and also support Marampa Chivam, this is my um, uh, honor on behalf of my personal self and the people of uh, Marampa Chivam. Thank you, congratulations, thank you very much. Lorenzo, Lorenzo! <laughs> God bless Marampa Mines, God bless the management and staff. Thank you very much. Oh, I say, when I clap for a chief, eh? Come on, 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 Thank you very much. come on, 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 the chief talked about the intervention of the first lady by the young women uh, life, i.e. hands of our girls. We not talk with the talk, but which man then they measure the effects of things. Science they measure, we they observe, they, they measure, they don't measure. We don't see say because of the introduction of the hands of our girls. For the past two and a half to three years, the infant mortality rate in Sierra Leone don't go down by 60 percent. Because of the hands of our girls, where not so many young women are getting pregnant again, and they are all in school, the maternal mortality rate don't go down from 1,700 by 100,000 live births to 400 now, 400,000 live births. 60 percent. So let me clap one for the initiative of our excellency. These are the measurements where we're trying to depend upon. Statistics, we the talk. 
But then they measure, then they contact. Thank you very much, Mama. May God bless you. So now, we we'll push on because we have another program somewhere else. I get for call the Paraban Chief, the newly decorated, recognized, and crowned and staffed Paraban Chief of Bakel, sorry, Mafoki Chief of Paraban Chief by Foki Finkan, the second. Paramount Chief, very fucking thinker. Good afternoon, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Sierra Leone. But I want to explain a small thing to you, sir. Oh, we there, every chiefdom gets in your ceremony. And every ceremony is unique to in chiefdom. So, I kindly ask you, sir, for many ceremonial chiefs that have come and bless you, sir. We call it a long, long time. We're going to give the clearance to you, sir. With full respect, so you have to stand. Karu des kamasa en long temps, mamuto. Yo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. His Excellency, Dr. Julius Madabio, First Lady of the Republic. Dr. Fatima Najabi Bayou, Honorable Vice President, Dr. Mohamed Jalo, Resident Minister of the Northwest, Honorable Dr. Alpha Khan, my colleague PC Michael Blue Queen II, the Chief Executive Officer of Marampa Mines. Limited, Mr. Craig Dean, and all dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, your presence is highly observed. Good morning, if I got it correct, or good afternoon. His Excellency Dr. Julius Madabio, I'm very pleased and honored to be at this historic event. Let me start by introducing my, myself. I am PC by Foki Finka, the second from Mafoki Chiefdom, but local district. I'm the first paramount chief after the amalgamation of Mafoki and Bakeloko Chiefdoms. His Excellency Dr. Julius Madabio, Mafoki Chiefdom is a class A chiefdom that comprises of 20 sections which makes it one of the largest chiefdoms in the Republic of Sierra Leone. Sadly, we have little to know or to show. However, my people have done great work over the years, electing presidents and members of parliament, yet we have been left behind on all the networks on earth. We lack road networks, we lack health networks, we lack communication networks, infrastructure networks, and agricultural support networks. With your hard work of in in enacting the Mines and Mineral Act, His Excellency, I can proudly say that Mafokian's share of the 1% Community Development Fund will be utilized to benefit every Mafokians. I have a dedicated team of Community Development Committee members that I will fully engage for us to work on the networks that we lack in our chiefdom. His Excellency, sometimes doing a good job is not all about sophisticated outlook. 
but an excellent delivery born out of a dedicated heart like yours. You've done an excellent job for this country. Thumbs up, Mr. President. My president, someone of your value who is always on his toes to get the work done as perfectly as possible, deserve an accolade. It's much a blessing having you as, a, as the president of the Republic of Sierra Leone. We, the people of Mafoki Chiefdom, appreciate you so much. Mr. President, we, the Mafokians, thank you for your genuine passion, care, commitment to your job roles. As a retired brigadier of the Sierra Leone Armed Force, compassionate civilian, and of course, the President of the Republic of Sierra Leone. You've been a huge blessing to the country at large. You're highly valued. To the Maraba Mines Limited, your effort deserves big applause and sincere recognition. Thank you for the superb job you have done. To the CEO of Marampa, Mr. Craig Dean, I wish I would express how grateful I am for all your dedicated and commitment to the Marampa people and the Mafoki people through your corporate social responsibility programs. I'm so proud of you. This is indeed a success well deserved. Your dedication and commitment to your work have paid off. You are highly appreciated in my chiefdom. To the MML employees, are you guys over there? Yeah. Let me know. Are you guys over there? Yeah. A perfect employee is not one who comes earlier and leaves late. You know that, right? It is someone who dedicates themselves to their work wholly heartedly. Kudos to your dedication. You have been that. There lies within you an excellent power and skills to the above. Any challenge and make the best of any situation. You have done an excellent job. Moreover, I'm very impressed by your performance and hard work. I feel truly blessed to have such a hard-working employees like you in my chiefdom. Thank you for everything, and thank you all. Afumami, Yoruba Numomo, Mamama Sufafbo, Nudiria Heri, Tokuro Kira Nuya Heri. Bipa pa kebe fo na de metal net tatu no momo no na be. Now time is against His Excellency. So, ladies and gentlemen, this man we don't create a triangle of development for us, where you have mining activity in Lonsa, transport activity na Pepel, and industrial activity na Koya, all in the same district. Now we go mine we transport and we add value inside the same district before we send them out. Because last week, they go open an SIZ, which they call Special Industrial Zone, where they host 52 factories in one area, 1,600 acres of land. The people they don't begin the work, investment is $300 million, all in Port Local District. He don't put up a port where it costs $270 million. When he put them on there, he don't pass half a billion. This power on time for winner for local district. So what did God say? Al Jazali and San, Yalin San, Abia Yalai, Abi Kuma, Tukaj, a Muslim Ayaroi. Al Jazali and San, Yalin San, Abia Yalai, Abi Kuma, Tukajibani, Gurun, Suratun, Filiyan. Excellency, 
your people await. Thank you very much. But you are welcome the president. Thank you very much. Let's sit down, please. The Honorable Vice President, Madam First Lady, Ministers, Honorable Members of Parliament, our traditional leaders, the Chief Executive Officer and Staff of Marampa Mines Limited, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Please permit me to do a two-phase presentation. One will be for our colleagues who are here who may not understand fully our local parlance Creole. But for the sake of uh, the greater majority, I will do some of my presentation in Creole, but I would have done so um, first in English. It is the delight for me to be here this afternoon, one year after commissioning the, the 3.25 million metric ton per annum expansion site at Marampa. The last time we were here, we had just come back from a short break. Um, we had a fallout with Marampa Mines. You know, sometimes we look at quarrels or conflict as bad, but it's not always bad. It's good to vent out your anger when you are angry, and that was what we had. But because we have a common purpose, we were able to come back together, and we came back together for the good of Sierra Leone, for the good of ML, MML, and Marampa. When we did so, we made a vow, like good partners, to keep the faith, do our part, support each other with goodwill. The CEO, who is now uh, Chief Craig Dean, uh, promised a healthy and fortifying relationship. I also promise we will do everything to keep the mines open and support its profitable operations. As I said the last time, we had a shared vision for Marampa and for the people of Port Loco and then Suradium. From his statement this morning, I think we have done everything right. Operations in the mines are going on undisrupted. Revenue sharing with government is satisfactory. We have maintained thousands of jobs, we've kept the local contractors in business, and we've kept the local economy buoyant. I think our approach is simple. The government, our investors, and local communities, especially Marampa, must all benefit from this mining operation. This is why I'm here this afternoon. I have been informed and I'm pleased that the last one year alone, in the last one year alone, Marampa Mines has paid land lease payments that have been used for disaster interventions and supporting vulnerable populations right across this district. Refurbishing health centers, supporting schools and providing university scholarships paying crop compensation to local communities, among other things. Thank you, Marampa Mines, for taking your corporate social responsibility very seriously. The last time I was here, I called for more investment in reskilling and upskilling, and more support for technical and vocational education in this community. I think it is a net positive for Marampa Mines. As you, as you would notice, skilled workers are necessary for the type of activity going on here. 
and the local community too, because it makes them employable and also equips them to engage in skills-based entrepreneurship. I'm also pleased that Marampa Mines has kept its sustainability goals by maintaining a good energy mix. Today, today we have a smoky generator making a lot of noise, <laughs> including renewables at the mine site and forward-thinking mine closure and rehabilitation plans, fostering regenerative agriculture and cultural practices for security and income generation, supporting skills development and working closely with government agencies. I'm curious to know how the sustainable farm on site is doing. There was a farm on site. I don't know how that one is faring. Whether you have increased production of vegetables and livestock, or whether you are encouraging and uh, supporting local communities to replicate farming, that farming model. Yeah, yeah. All of these initiatives help be resilient in the post-mining communities. I'm also pleased that you have kept your word on working towards gender parity at the Marampa Mines, especially in light of the national momentum towards equal, equality, women's empowerment, and opening up more opportunity for women in the mining industry. I am informed that Marampa Mines is at 18%, at 18% exceeds the global average of about five to 12% of women in the mining force. Congratulations. Marampa Mines. I can see a few women, but I think there are more at the back. Woman in the Marampa Mines. Yeah, we did, we did. Thank you. I'm still fighting for you. So don't forget me. I'm pleased to know that Marampa Mines is working towards a 30% threshold for women in its workforce. That is the goal it has set for itself. And I'm sure that is not oblivious of the fact that we have just passed the gender equality and women's empowerment bill. Now it's a law. So Marampa Mines is trying to align its own internal policies with that of ours. So woman in Komo Bush. I want to further challenge Marampa Mines to employ more women, engineers, managers, executives, etc. All of these big wins I've spoken about have been possible as a result of my government's effort to make the mining ecosystem more conducive for businesses and makes it really a low-risk destination for mining investments. We have improved the governance of the, sec governance of the sector, we transparent and simplify the policies. We are working on improving data and reporting procedures even more. As a consequence of all of these reforms, more mining companies are operational today and compliant with regulations than they were five years ago. Sierra Leone has achieved a high score of 87.5% in the Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative implementation. It's not about politics. It is about the future of this nation. It is about ensuring that the country and its citizens benefit more from its, its mineral deposits. This is why we have reached agreement with the mining companies to increase community development agreement fund from um, the miserable 0.01% before to 1%. So, Mafoki Marampa, Tempenwa. Mamono. Atafini. Atafini. Afumini. Mamono. Where is it? Make a can I for just come for sure say you can burn picking 
but stranger can come make you better. So, we parents their attitude towards everybody, every human being, now for make sure say you treat every human being with respect and fear God. So, waiting when I not don't get in nearly 90 years of operations, now when they, when they can't get under me own leadership. Now that make a talk say the last time I've been there now, for me we shave the other money. This time I don't come back now for me we may miss a witness. This money we they can't shave. This money, now when I've been when I for them begin get them nearly 100 years ago. But leadership matters. And leadership that thinks about the people. Leadership that thinks about the people and care for the people is what you did not have. And that is what you have now. So today, when I get for this, uh, the two chiefdoms combined, the get for get nearly 38 billion leons. Billion leons. I sure say some of winners have been right down this self. Because the zero is so plenty that you get for the count your finger for know how many zeros for right. But now this governance they about that which is yours and that which is due to you must be given to you. But it is not every government that respects and values that. And that is why we have industrial problems around mining communities. We now a fair government. This power government now a government of the people and for the people. So when we set to require with Marampa Mines, we decide say yes, we for look at the laws again. Not only 10% government share into Marampa Mines. But that one percent, now don't translate to this 38 billion we will not get forget. I just come on to Uncle the other day, and we give them um, um, over 25 billion leons. So, that one we not for my pocket, you know the kind of my pocket. The one that will be said the ground dry, they don't begin to see now where the ground is so. I've been promised to say in a fair leadership and when I will, they, when I will get right for vote, when you the vote, not vote for color, vote for yourself because now this kind of opportunity and blessings will come when you vote the right government. For 90 years, this did not happen. But because of policies, fairness, and for make sure, say, we not say, say whether they can dig on a ground, whether they take on a land, we not get substantial development, where even after, although they wait in the Naya, they go take, I don't know how many, the mine, the, um, I don't call it, the mine um, life, the mine life for this one Naya. Most, most of we not go there. By the time we this they don't naya, they 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 they, they, they uh, higher all deposit naya. But if we now they take, let's say very soon we now go hit forty billion every year. We now go down be all the schools them. We now go down be all the health centers. We now go this one a city ya uh, Maram um, uh, Lonsa. We now go make all the roads there. We now go do water supply. We now go get sustainable electricity supply. <laughs> You see, Lonsa then wants light. Lonsa. Wow. Uh, you know, I don't promise when I would work on that. You know, for bring light, 
Let the cool fire cool. When I know that I know so, now God no man angle say, let there be light. And there is light, no so. Me talk and do. Where I say let there be light. I could don't know for this are mass, no so. I know mass day. When say I mass day, I they come back and tell you I say. But one thing is for sure, you need and deserve light and you are going to have it. So, Panda Plenty English, we have to talk. We don't clean, we don't begin clean up the mining sector in such a way that even the one the way they outside, we don't evaluate it. Don't talk, say yes, we don't do a good job and then respect me. And why are they talk for women then, for men to be represented in the mining sector? Besides the mining sector, for a very long time in this country, we don't forget about women then. We send a host no more than for them. Yeah. Women and they are. Yeah. No, not if I vote somewhere they talk so. But if I give me another, another, another vex. I go gladly, and I go help with them all. When I know, say, we don't pass law, we make sure, say, even the parliament, oh, they get nothing less than 30% of that parliament. Now, women, they for they they know so. And now, when Mr. Sebe appoint minister, then, nothing less than 30% of the ministers, then, for being women, they know so. So then get up again, they will begin have hope. They will begin go to school now. Better, better one. Because they get for some minister then, they get for some judges, lawyers. They get up again there. they are. Wow. Okay, yes, I can spot you now. <laughs> Thank you. So now all of this what they do now for Wuna. We they open the space, knowing say, the woman then, we not go ever push on our corner again. We don't make law. Now, I am obligated, I'm under, I'm under, under obligation by law, not if I want to, at least 30% for be women. And if I vote well, me I go head down to 40 for them before the left side. If that woman is a vote so, and I'm 52% of the population, so now I make another worry, sir. 52%. I know that when I go vote for myself, not so. So, um, for Marampa and um, uh, which are the other chief them? Mafoki. This company now when I young. This now when I baby. The workers, the properties, and all activities must be your own. You have now vested interest in this company and its operations. We have to support the leadership, the young man, them, other people, them. They have to have thief and go take from the company property in our good. That they make them pack, then go. When they make profit, if you hamburg them, they don't make high profit, you know they get 40 billion. That's not the interesting thing. The more profit they make, the more winner self they get. So now when I own business now for make sure say Marampa Mines Limited make more money because what they make, if they make hundred, one percent of hundred. If they make two hundred, one percent of two hundred. So now, when I own business now, for the first time in history, we say fairness don't come. For me, when I get vested interest in the operations and everything, any other company where they operate there. So, I the appeal to the leadership, the two permanent chiefs there, Mafaki and Marampa, the leaders, the young people, the women, and everybody, for give full support. Because we own business, as a state, as a government, that for provide the conducive business environment, the policy environment, and also for make sure say, the operations then go on without disruption. And what 
anything interesting about this money, it will help for help for, for make sure that we are take care of a lot of things then. What we not need. Where government not able to provide. We're not a shock with your responsibility as government. But this one they make sure say, what will they bring her now? Not for add no more. But the two chief dons there, they already get funds where they make them do plenty of things there. <laughs> so at the Beguna, Mafoki, Marampa, we na make sure say we na support Marampa mines. What did not ever happen in the 90 years where we they do mining operation? Nine power don't make possible for Mekuna get. So today, not a plenty talk. Um, Lonsa, the one thing we are, we are not be know, when I don't tell me, for say when I need light, not just so. I don't take full note of that. Light and water. But you, see, you see, the one be city now. The city of Lonsa, no, so? Wow. Well, the kind thing they want to do, I think, say, it possible, say, we could do that. But you know what I promise? When I make me, I come back. When I make me, I come back easily. If I make a comeback easily, Mr. That, na, then the power pack will set in now. That's when they are the kind of, and given a date, where light and water go kind of uh, lose out. This is now in your city, it will be a city also. And I'm very proud of um, the Moriado Secondary School, where we continue to do extremely well. Emi Paddy, where the university now, I hear you say it is still continue for do extremely well. We've been getting the best, you know, um, a result for go now this whole country here. Uh, why do I stand for education? And I go beg on all the young people, you become employable where you get employable skills. And that make with the third and say, and that make a gladi where we hear you say, then they give scholarship them. If we're not from Marampa, from Mafaki, Mafaki, get for able for enjoy the facilities now, yeah? we not forget the required skills, the knowledge, the level of education. It is much more expensive for them for me to hire from outside. But if not from here, it's less expensive. But again, then get for make profit and they get for make sure say you have the requisite skills and knowledge for it will be a productive part of the company. So at the appeal owner, now is the time. Go arm yourself with vocational, whatever skill. All the, 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 the kind of skills that they need inside Maramba Mind. From management to the last one, the one the way they cook, the one the way they operate the, 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 the hydraulic machines, the one the way they maintenance them, and many other things. Not sit down and say that government they can't feed you. Go. Equip yourself with the skills. If you get skill when not reach that level, go reskill and add to that skill. Then you don't ready for the opportunity where the opportunity comes. So that we not self, we not go, not to just this money will be shame. We not go benefit directly again from the company. That is my appeal to the young people. And also for the leadership of the two children, for make them make sure that they pick in and go and study. You see, um, with your man for today, not like geologist by training, but you're not being fortunate, forget the right government. So, besides the internet, but stay, you don't able to see again. Pass where you don't can see towards the end of the game now. Where the game don't switch, it's just the watch from outside. You know, you can inside again. Pass you talk about what's there for inside. Because throughout in life, the minds not operate. Bad governance. It's not able to benefit. And in and professor, they all they don't go for greener pastures because the mind not be the operate. 
Now they don't come back. And now that make we're not picking them for take book learning, make serious. Education is good. And to make it available, free access to education, so there is no excuse that I make we don't make a free quality education for every child born in this country. The best investment we can do for any human being in the 21st century on the brink of the fourth industrial revolution is education. <laughs> education, at the talk and say, when I accept. Yes. Young man, then it's never too late. You can go back and learn vocational skills, technical things that the owner can do. The woman, then, the young woman, then. The world world day today, it need knowledge for move on. And as we move into a digital world, we need totally different skills then. We're different from what we they use today. So in the fourth industrial revolution, which is looming, we need better education, quality education. Education different from what we have today. You, the young people, have to be ready. And that's why I am leading this revolution in education. When I take them seriously, so that we're not going to be at the leading edge of the fourth industrial revolution, we have been at the receiving end of all the other revolutions from the first, second, and third. Let's not be at the receiving end. Let's be a productive and leading part of the fourth industrial revolution, which is looming. We will only do that if we take education seriously. Thank you. So today, I just want for Mekuna no say, the money when my, my fucky and my rampa they get na 38 billion leons. I repeat, 38 billion leons. And I want for appeal to the leadership. I want for appeal to the leadership. For me, we make sure say we use the money, make the people they feel them, make themselves enjoy them because that they we they work for. On that note, I say thank you and wish you the best. We are expecting for improving our shipment and we will support Marampa Mines for increase their production. And everything they want to do, you have my full support. Thank you.